Ooh, welcome back to my YouTube channel, TBG Family, though. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, TBG Family, though. But I wanted to get into a video about, you know, my reaction video about Mubu Crump. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know Mubu Crump was from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? He was a Chicago legend, though. You know what I'm saying? All them dudes out there are Chicago legends, you know? Every nigga who lost their life is a Chicago legend, you feel me? Because what the fuck they was doing and what type of shit they was involved, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know Mubu Crump was really with the shit. He was really with the shit. Mubu Crump was really with the shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know he grew up with he he grew up with half of them OTF niggas. You know what I'm saying? He was fucking with them OTF niggas hard though. Hard. Mubu Crump was fucking with them OTF niggas hard. Y'all can go on the internet and search for yourself. You'll see a picture with him and Lil Dirt, nigga. He knew Lil Dirt, nigga. He knew them niggas. Mubu Crump knew all them niggas, man. A lot of people don't know that Mubu Crump knew all them niggas, man. Mubu Crump was really in the fucking streets. Nigga, he was in the streets, nigga, really moving, nigga. Nigga, when I say he was really in the streets moving, he was really in the streets moving. And he was a slick nigga. He was a slick, pretty boy nigga. All the bitches loved that nigga. All the bitches loved Mubu Crump, nigga. All the bitches, you know what I'm saying? You know, all the bitches love that nigga. But I ain't gonna lie, no, that nigga was dissing a lot of people. He was dissing a lot of people, nigga. He was dissing a lot of people. Talking about dead people. You know, you can't do that, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that, you know what I'm saying? And that nigga was on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Nigga talking mad shit about everybody. Mad shit about the guys. How you gonna talk shit about the guys, but you used to kick it with them and grew up with them niggas. So Mubu Crump had all ties with the gang shit. He had ties with the gang shit and he was in the music shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know Mubu Crump was really in the streets. You know what I'm saying? And allegedly he had bodies too. Allegedly he had probably like shit, 20 bodies, 20, 15 bodies. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, he, and him and um, him and Melly was best friends. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know that. Mubu Crump and Melly was best friends. You know what I'm saying? Melly was best friends with Mubu Crump. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like, you know, I just don't see how Mubu Crump got caught slipping and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, if I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that shit, nigga, rapping and shit, nigga, um, dissing dead people, nigga, I'm not going to be in the streets, nigga. I'm going to be in the streets, but I'm going to be low profile. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna be in a, I ain't gonna be going to no parties. I ain't gonna be going to no clubs, nigga. None of that shit, nigga. You know, cause Mubu Crump had money on his head too. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know Mubu Crump had money on his fucking head. You know what I'm saying? He had a couple G's on his head. He had a couple G's on his head. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, he was dissing a lot of people, man. He was dissing a lot of people. You can't diss the dead, man. You can't talk about the dead. You can't talk about niggas' homies. You can't do none of that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? It's either you're gonna be a rapper or you're gonna not be a rapper. You're gonna have one foot in the streets, nigga, one foot out the streets, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They used to call Mubu Crump the scorekeeper. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucking scorekeeper. Yeah. And if y'all don't believe me, y'all go look it up for yourself. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm just saying, man, I just don't understand, man. Mubu Crump, he was like in the streets moving, man. He was in the streets moving. He always had his thing on him. He was not lacking and shit, you know? But shit, that day he went to that motherfucking party shit. You know, he should never went to that party. I think he would still be alive if he would have just played his cards right. And if he wouldn't went to that motherfucking party. The reason why he went to that party because Melly was at the party. Nigga, Melly was at the party. Jabro City was at the party. All them niggas, you know. And Melly fucked with the streets. Melly was a street nigga. Mubu Crump was a street nigga. So Mubu Crump went to the party to kick it with Melly and all him. You know, and... You know, that shit is crazy, man. I just don't understand why the fuck would he go to the party. You know what I'm saying? If you know, if you know, nigga, the streets is hot, nigga. You know you're in the streets, nigga. And you know, nigga, it's beef going on, nigga, with nigga old block. Nigga, you beefing with them niggas. Why would you go to a motherfucking party? If you beefing with old block or beefing with any niggas, why would you go to a party, my nigga? Why the fuck would you go to a party, my nigga? Why would you even put yourself in that kind of category? You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people didn't know, nigga, Mubu Crump, he didn't give a fuck, man. Mubu Crump moved like the president. He, he didn't give a fuck, nigga. He always kept that chrome on his ass. He always kept that gun on him 24-7. And he didn't care. You know what I'm saying? He didn't care, but he always, you know, he always, he was big-headed, too. He was big-headed, but he always had that liquor in him, too. He always, you know, had drink up in him. So he really didn't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? He, Mubu Crump, he always thought nothing was bad happened to him. You know what I'm saying? He always thought nothing bad would happen to him. You know what I'm saying? 
But shit, man, I just feel like, man, he should never went to that motherfucking party. If Mubu Crump would have never went to that party, he would still be alive. If he would have never went to that party, he would still be alive. If Mubu Crump would have never put himself at that party on Front Street, nigga, he would never, he would never be, a, he would, he would still be alive. You know what I'm saying? He put himself at a party, nigga. Mubu Crump put himself at a party, nigga. And your face, nigga. Everybody know your face, nigga. Everybody know your face. You got dreads, nigga. Everybody know what he look like. Everybody know who the fuck that nigga is. You know what I'm saying? You put your face out there, nigga. Once you put your face out there, nigga, it don't take, it ain't, it ain't nothing for a nigga to get on the phone and be like, hey, y'all niggas pull up, move crumpers up here at the party, bro. Y'all niggas pull up, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all gotta think about this shit, man. When you're in the streets, nigga, it's all about, nigga, it's all about who could, who could, who could survive the streets, who could survive and who could stay alive, you know what I'm saying? But if it's money on your head, nigga, and motherfuckers ain't got money, they bummy, they broke, they desperate, Man, they're going to they gonna have to cash that check. They're going to try to cash your ass in. You know what I'm saying? They're going to cash your ass in. They don't give a fuck, you know? And it's fucked up, though, because I heard Mubu Crump was, like, in the party and shit with Melly and shit and the guys and shit. And then I guess Mubu Crump and Melly was outside taking pictures. They was outside taking pictures and shit, taking pictures and shit, bam, bam, taking a couple pictures, posting them on Instagram and shit. You know, that shit ain't nothing for a nigga to get on Instagram and look where that shit at. And then be like, okay, I, these niggas right here. Let's go over there, nigga. Let's go smash on them niggas. You know, but they did a drive-by. Nigga, Mubu Crump was outside pissing and shit. Or Melly was outside pissing and shit. Allegedly, Melly was um, pissing. And Mubu Crump was just on the phone taking pictures and shit, nigga. And allegedly, nigga, a car just rolled up, nigga. And just, just started, nigga, shooting out the car, nigga. And then Mubu Crump got hit in his head. I think he got hit in his head and his neck. You know, but the way I figure, I feel like somebody sat Mubu Crump up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like niggas, the streets did that shit. I feel like somebody at the party sat Mubu Crump up, nigga, and Mubu Crump would still be alive, nigga, if he would have never went to that motherfucking party. If he would never went to that party, Mubu Crump would still probably be alive, putting out good music, because he was a good artist. You know what I'm saying? He was a good artist and shit, but he was just on that beef shit. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like if all them rappers, niggas stop dissing the dead and just focus on their craft, focus on their music. Nigga, they could blow up. You feel me? Like, if all the Chicago rappers start dissing the dead and nigga, and just focus on their craft, nigga, we have all good Chicago rappers. You know what I'm saying? We don't, nigga, like, to me, I think everybody just need to stop dissing the dead and everybody just need to, nigga, stop the violence, nigga, and just focus on y'all music, focus on your craft, nigga, for real. And I want everybody to get the fuck out of Chicago because Chicago, nigga, everybody dying out there. Rest in peace to Mubu Crump, you know. I feel like if he wouldn't ever went to that party, he would still be alive. And I feel like he was set up. It's fucked up, man. But rest in peace to him. My prayers go out to him and his family. You know. Love y'all. Go.